What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. I'm Debunk, and this is my single-player Let's Play world here on the Bedrock Edition. Last episode, we made this wool farm. So let me go up top here and show you what this looks like. Uh, it looks a little bit different than the way I left it off the end of last episode. Um, actually, let's see. This might be the easiest way to look at this. If I just come right here. That should about do it. Yeah, there we go. So if we have, you can see all the sheep in there. This is all set up. I've been using this. Every one of those chests is completely full of wool of the respective colors. And you can see here in the front, I've started um, a little bit of decoration that I'm going to use in this area. Uh, but that's going to be another job for another day. Today, we're going to work on this. I'm going to do two things to this. Number one, I'm going to modify this so that instead of having a... Uh, kill chamber at the bottom based on a trident killer. I'm actually going to lower this whole platform down a little bit and I'm just going to have the, all of them fall to their death. The, the mobs fall to their death. So it's just going to be a passive mob farm. And I'm doing it that way because of a couple of reasons. Number one, um, there's a bug in Minecraft Bedrock Edition right now where the looting effect is not applied to tridents or bow and arrows. Um, so there's no looting to it anyway. And number two, uh, I've been getting my XP from the furnace and or from the uh, monument, uh, the ocean monument farm out there. So I don't need this for XP anymore. So I'm going to convert it to that and then I'm going to turn this into a, um, a hot air balloon. I think I've, I'm not sure if I've mentioned that in previous episodes, but I'm going to turn this into a hot air balloon and I think... I've got a pretty cool design for it. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So we're going to start working on that. So I've got an idea of what I want this to look like. Um, we're going to use wool. Uh, you can see these are all completely wool. So my plan is to use blue, red, red, white, and blue, basically. Um, that's my plan, red, white, and blue. A little bit of white and... Uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks. So first thing I want to do is modify that kill chamber, drop it down a little bit so that all the mobs will just straight up die. And uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but we're going to work on that right now. So let's head up there. Oh, I suck at flying. All right, so this is... Oh, crap. Um, what did I say this was? I'm on 113... So if I go up top here to where they start to fall. That was interesting. So this is 132. So 132 minus 13, 113 is a 32. So what is that, 19? Uh, you know what, math is hard, hold on. So the reason why my chunk borders were so messed up last time was because I did math wrong. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, 19. So I need to go down another four, I think, blocks from where the current kill chamber is. So from here, so what, this is 113. One, wait, where are we here? So if I go from there, one, two, three, four. So if I put my hoppers right here, um, and I think I'm going to do, hmm... So I do believe if I just make this my platform, everything should splat from here. All right, so I've got the platform in place. I'm just working on what's gonna be the basket underneath of the hot air balloon right now. So you can see I've used some barrels underneath of there, which I think is pretty cool looking. So we'll use some barrels, and then, uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Oh no, this isn't going to work. I mean, it will from the bottom. This is going to look great from the bottom. 
But on the sides, we're going to have these barrel things. Hey, let's see if we can't figure this one out. Alright, so this is what I have so far. Um, got the hoppers in here. Put some fires on top because I've had a couple of witches survive this fall. And I've had a, a skeleton survive this fall. Actually, I had a couple of zombies as well. So hopefully that'll catch it. And then the box here is just a square box. It's got some gold on the corners. Carpet to prevent mobs down there. And I have a combination of composters and... Um, what are those things called? Barrels. So I think it looks pretty cool. There you go. Give you a good idea. And then obviously once the balloon is made, I'll connect this up. So I'm going to work on the balloon. You can see I've got the, the shape working up here. You can see the shape and the colors. And uh, so now it's just time to grind out and uh, get this thing built. And uh, I'll come back when I have some progress. All right, a little bit of a quick update. I have a ball in the sky. Kind of looks like a beach ball at the moment, which is kind of neat. Um, let's see, I have 10 rockets. Let me get some more rockets and then I'll fly up around and show you what this guy looks like. And hopefully I can get rid of some of this rain too. If it only had red and white, it would be like a Pokemon ball. Oh, I should have done that. I surely should have made a Pokemon ball in the sky. Uh, so that's what we have. I just need to now put some things coming down and, and shape it up a little bit. But I think it's looking good. This was probably the hardest part because I was following a template. And I don't know if I like those black. So I put these black stripes down the sides. And I don't know. You guys can let me know if you like that or not. I think maybe I need to replace that with white. Because I think it just doesn't look great. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, guys. And uh, let me land up top here for a minute. You can see I've got, you know, kind of black. And then this is all covered in... So it's wool, but it's covered in carpets uh, to prevent spawning on top of it. And then I did the same thing uh, down below on the, on the bottom side. On the bottom, uh, yeah. At the bottom half of the ball, where there's space inside, where the that's not taken up by the uh, actual mob farm, all the blocks inside have carpets on them to prevent mob spawning, so that I still get good spawn rates. So I think it's looking good. It's coming along good. You gotta let me know what you think about these black lines. I think I'm gonna leave them for now, but I may in the future have to swap those out for. Oh, I missed a piece. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Do I have it on me? I do. Let's go land and put, take care of that. So I might come back and take care of that, um, or take care of those lines, but you guys have to let me know what you think of that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to work on shaping that down a little bit, and then I'm going to connect this up to there. Alright, so I'll work on that, and I'll come back when I have another progress update for you guys. Looking good, though. I like it. Minus the scaffolding. Alright, so another quick status update here, guys. So I've built the basket. You guys saw that. I put the pillars that went up that connect to the actual balloon. I've got the balloon. It's, it was a ball and I've started shaping it down. It's hard to see from this angle. Let's see if I can find a better angle so you guys can see what this is looking like. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. You can kind of see the thing. I still have some more work to do just to get the right shape that I want. And then if I, if I show you the back here, I actually... Uh, haven't quite finished the, sh the downward shape sloping here on this yet. Um, here we go. Let's land here. So you can kind of see it doesn't really look good from this angle. <laughs> um, because Just because it's kind of hollowed out. Because I'm kind of trying to get the outside shape down. And then what I'll do is I'll bring it in. Um, but I think I'm at a point where it's going to have to do it for this episode. Because... Um, I'm kind of bored with building this, and I want to do something else. So I think what I'm going to do is... I kind of want to go kill a wither. Which means I still need another wither skull. So I think I'm going to go gather some wither skulls and uh, go kill a wither in the next episode. I think that might be fun. So yeah, this has been fun. It's been a good build. Uh, the farm itself is still functional. Let's see if I can land here. Um, I haven't figured out how to quite how to access that chest in a good way yet. Ah! I did have some scaffolding here for a while, but I've taken it out so that I could kind of really get a good view. So this is this is all 
been built in here it's just since I started building this thing. Oh, jeez. So, I don't know what's wrong with this farm. It's not supposed to be um, spawning Endermen. I'm not sure why it's spawning Endermen. Like, I really don't know why it's spawning Endermen. It shouldn't be. And I'm not inclined to go in there and figure it out at this point because it's going to be a scary proposition just to get in there. So yeah, so I think this looks pretty good. I hope you guys like it. Um, still going to work on the shape a little bit more. Still got to work on uh, finishing this backside down and then uh, just closing it up on the bottom. But I think we're pretty close. And uh, if nothing else, it looks a lot better. Oh boy, and I am out of rockets. It looks better now than it did when it was just a big box up in the sky. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching this build uh, come together. And uh, obviously you still have a little bit left to do, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, if you have, please do leave a like on this video and share it with your friends. It helps the channel out a lot. And uh, I appreciate the, the, you guys are watching. Any questions, comments, please do give me, uh, let them, you know, drop them in the comments section down below. And uh, until next time, bye for now, everybody. Let's go for a little flight. There it is.